Well, of course, we are joined by our, our next superstar this morning. Ooh, and uh, ooh, I'm very excited ooh, because I actually oh, have shit. never interviewed this person in my whole entire life. So I feel like it's <laughs> levels right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Expresso family, please put your hands together for Euphonic, everybody. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. So good to have you, man. What's up? Are you well? I'm touching him. Oh, I'm yeah. touching him. It's happening. I'm very, very well. Thank good you. Man. Listen, let's talk about what happened this weekend. You founded a uh, cruise experience alongside DJ Fresh yeah. called O Ship. Yeah. Tell us about the experience. So basically it's uh, three days on sea, 72 yes. hours. We leave Durban port. We go to the Portuguese island. We get off at the Portuguese island, yeah. party for a day and come back. So it's literally 72 hours wow. of nonstop partying. Wow. Um, this year, I think we hit our max numbers, which was like we completely sold the boat out, yeah. which is like 3,000 people, which is... What? Like, it, it sounds crazy, but like, we managed it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really a cool party, and uh, bookings already open for 2019, so. That must be nice, eh? Yeah. Hey? That must be nice to know. For 2019, you're already sorted, but that is such a great trip. I mean, the Durban, Portuguese islands, but of yeah. course, the fact that it's the biggest party with 3,000 people has to be something incredibly special. Yeah, and it's 3,000 people from all around Africa. Wow. Like, there were literally people from. Swaziland, uh, Botswana, Nigeria, Ghana on the boat. Like people that literally just came down for yeah. that, which is crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about your 2018. You released your, your album, Perspective. It's yeah. gone gold. What has this process been like for you? I mean, you continue just <laughs> to do so well constantly. So, like, I don't touch anything that feels like work to me. And yeah. I don't touch anything that isn't fun. So, like, every single thing that I do is fun. From the people that I work with to the projects that I work on to the music that I make yeah. to being right here. Like, if I didn't enjoy this process, I wouldn't <laughs> Trust be me, none of us would. It's our Leo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, putting together an album, it's, I think, I've, I've even lost count, but I've got 13 gold and platinum wow. plaques at my house. Um, so, like, this album actually took me time to put together because I took a lot of time traveling the world to go yeah. check out different sounds. That's why the, the name of the album is called Perspective. Yes. So it's my global perspective wow. of where dance music is at um, at the moment and yeah that. like it's 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 gone gold and so I feel like maybe that's why it works because you said you don't do it if it doesn't feel right yeah, and maybe yeah, it's yeah. that authenticity that your audience your fans know that whatever you touch it's you it's who yeah, you are you're bringing you're being present in that for moment. me that's like almost critical man yeah. because like it's so easy in our industry yes. to be the guy that makes things happen and then over time you forget and things start happening to you and you're yeah. just rolling with the flow so I always like stop myself and I ask myself, do I want to be doing this? Is this part of my plan? Yeah. Because it's so easy to, like, for me to sit here and be a pretty face and the next thing they're like, come present the show with me. And I'm like, I, don't, yeah. I didn't really want to be a TV presenter. This is true. This you is know true. what I'm saying? And your so, audience knows when something is authentic and 100%. when it's not. And if they feel like you're doing something that's not you, then they're like, but we actually can't trust what you're doing exactly. because you're just doing it for the money then. Exactly. Over time, it really yeah. does show. So you've collaborated with, I mean, amazing people. Mikasa, DJ Tira, DJ Maporisa. Who will you be collaborating with next? So I'm busy at the moment. I don't want to mention any names, but like I, like I said, I've been spending a lot of time overseas. So the next few collaborations are all global collaborations mm -hmm. so I don't want to jinx anything that touch wood like yeah. you know so yeah. like there's a lot of stuff happening for me globally um, I mean like I fly to London tonight playing with uh, <laughs> Pete Tong then on oh, on, set, on, Friday, on Saturday I'm in Greece yeah. then I've got Portugal and Monaco lined up for the year Tulum next year January Miami Montreal like so there's a lot happening globally um, so yeah that's, I love that's when our South African at. artists use the word global because it's time that we start going global yeah, I mean man. we just had the Global Citizen Festival it was so wonderful to see international and local people collaborating mm. but let's keep it local for now yeah. where can our local people see you and experience you this summer okay so every single Thursday okay. I'm going to be right here in the mother city okay. at uh, the VNA waterfront at the Radisson Red I've got a residency there okay um, it starts at 2 o'clock and ends at 10 o'clock so it's like literally like a Sunday down a vibe so come party with me every single thursday just go to the website vipsonly.co.za you wonderful. can't pay for a ticket okay. you can win a ticket okay, and it's wonderful. free so nobody gets charged to come <laughs> nice. in you just have to uh, register to get a ticket. Okay, so yeah. basically that's where I'll be every Thursday throughout summer here in you Cape Town. It's this. wonderful. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> you find it, thank you so much for being with us on the show and, of course, for keeping our summer lit. And now we have something to do every Thursday. Yeah, man, amazing. Wonderful. You find it on your feel-good breakfast show.